I, certainly this is probably nothing new. What we've tried to do with the optimal, and again, the, the key is when I say high return, I mean, you know, we're probably targeting or anticipating or hoping, you know, targeting is probably the fairest word, for north of 75% a year. I mean, that, that in of itself in 2014 is odd. It is completely odd, which is another reason that we like it is that I think it's fairly unique in the industry. But if you think about it, even, you know, institutions basically have, I'm going to use the word dumbed down returns, but I don't mean that in a critical manner, but they have, they have demanded product that was very low volatility. Right. And because of that, to get a large allocation, particularly managers that have been successful, have tended to diminish their volatility as their business has progressed. I think if you took any CTA with a 15 year track record, their last three years were probably less volatile than their first three years. Yeah, but you guys have been at this for 15. Okay. So you're, you've been at this for 15 and you're introducing a, a very high return program. So it hasn't, it hasn't changed you. Well, I don't, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be so grand, but we think there's a place in the, in the market for this kind of program. Number one, for an individual investor, we think having something in your portfolio that could hit a home run makes sense. In fact, we had a little something up on our blog where one of our guys ran a quick study on what it looks like if you're doing your standard $5,000 a year IRA contribution. If you took the just the first year and only the first year and put it in something with potentially very high returns, even if it doesn't work, it doesn't hurt your net outcome to be in 60 years old at very much at all. And if it does work, it can completely change your financial situation, you know, within a 20 year time frame. So I think for an individual, having one or 2%, maybe, you know, 5%, making a $10,000, $20,000 investment in something that can hit a home run makes sense. I think for an institution, if you look at your allocation and you take what you just said, which is I'm going to make smaller invests, I'm going to, I'm going to invest in the same things I was going to invest in. My net portfolio is going to try to look the same. But instead of putting 10 million in a typical trend follower, I'm, I do 2 million in covenant. Number one, I just cut my fees by 80%. Number two, I have increased my own liquidity by 80%. I have less maximum downside. And over a five or 10 year period, I actually have more upside. So if you look down and think about the check boxes for an investment, lower net risk, higher potential return, increased liquidity, lower fees. That seems like a pretty good do to me. 